welcome to another up close video. Today's one is looking at designer's choice number 23 which is called the floral sentiment frames um, and it's a really clever one because you've actually got uh, dies that interlock into each other to give you um, different kind of effect and I think these work great for shaker cards so for my sped up video I actually kind of did three different ways of using these as shaker cards whether you're like using the whole thing and cutting it into the card and recessing the dies back into it whether you're just using one of the dies to cut it out or whether you're cutting that die into a panel and then adding that onto your card as well and I'll show you those examples later on too um, but let's have a look at the the die set so as with all of the designers choices they come in the little folder like this that you can put in the designers choice die storage folders which are the duck egg blue colour um, and I always link to them below the video when I do an up close video uh, just in case you haven't got one of the folders and you want a way of storing them but um, these are just like a standard two hole punch so if you have an A5 ring binder you could also just put them in there as well or if you don't have many of the kits but you have one of the binders you can also put them inside there too. Um, so let's have a look at the whole die set. Um, I think this is a really nice one actually. I do really like the style of them. You can do very clean and simple um pretty quick kind of cards actually um and they still have a lot of like intricate detail in them because of the fine uh, detail within the dies but the main die i suppose is this one that cuts out um four different panels but combines them with one flower die so you have this basic shape which is kind of like um, a fancy sort of label shape but the other side of it is taken up with this flower die um, and then you actually have that gorgeous interior decoration for this flower die that you can I mean you could just cut it into there and have this as an open label place that you could stamp onto maybe one of the stamp clubs you've got some flowers or a cute little animal or um, I mean maybe even you want to stick a photograph on here or something as well there's lots of ideas that you could use just this open um, solid piece of cardstock for but having this beautiful detail on the side of it um, then you also have this die which you can use to die cut the solid out and you could put it behind there to add colour behind all of the openings on here so you could have it behind or you can actually cut this one first you can't cut these two together because there's actually an extra piece of metal within this detailed portion that won't allow you to cut both dies together they kind of overlap just here just in that little portion there they actually overlap each other so you can't cut them both together but you can cut this one first and then line the detail up over the top really easy to line it up once you've cut it out as well um, and then you can have a separate spray to use on your card as well um, I've done one card where I just use loads of these all over the background and I've also done um, I think in a couple of instances cut this one out separately and added this on top of the frame so obviously when you have this properly cut out this will all be on this side of the frame but you can also um, have that raised up and 3D'd on there as well but to go along with the the rest of this so you can cut this into here and then you can you have an option of four different designs so depending what way round you want to use it on your card if you wanted to use it so that flower was at the top or the flowers at the bottom perhaps um, you could use this one which is just another floral design so it literally just builds on that floral pattern and means you could put this any way around that you want to on your card depending on what kind of card you're going for you could place this in any direction but then you also get so so, so this is the detail from this one um, I will show you all of these. I have examples with all of them cut out, so you will be able to see the detail later on. Um, so you can either have just the floral design with the flower, or you can mix and match in different word ones. So this one says, just to say, with an ellipse at the end, and it has one gorgeous flower coming in from the side to build on that floral that's already there. So you can have just to say in this whole piece, or you can mix that one out and have thinking of you which also has a smaller flower but on the opposite side and they all lock in together and work perfectly with each other so you could have thinking of you as well 
or the final one you can also lock this one in and have birthday wishes which has two open head flowers down here and then like a side profile of a flower to continue on to this cluster here so it's really clever the way it's like it's like one design but there's four different options of creating that design so if you were making a packet of notelets for somebody you could create them all in a, the exact same way but switch out the sentiment or detail that's on there as well so I think it's a it's a really nice um, versatile set but not only can you just use them like this um, you can just cut this piece into the card if you want to and then have the 3D flower coming over the side of it as well. So I think in every case I have used the flower with the frame because it's a slightly odd sort of shape at the side here but you can basically choose whether you want it to be within this shape with the flower design. You could, you could have it within this shape but the flower design is 3D on the side or you can cut this straight into a panel or your actual um, card front and have um, the flower design 3D'd up or cut into it next to it as well. So um, you have lots of ways of different shapes that you could kind of turn this into or um, adding dimension in different ways as well because if you cut both of these pieces together just into a panel there's nothing to stop you just cutting that into a square and not having this as the outside shape it would just be that kind of shaped aperture inside a square or a circle or an octagon or a hexagon any other shape that you have in your stash you could cut this out with and have that focal element in the center of which is really lovely actually to have that um, option to be able to do that and if you wanted to define the edge of these flowers more you can then cut this piece with this piece and have the extra bit to add over the top as well to kind of define that edge of the flower even though it's within a different shape too I hope that kind of made sense then as well as all of these main pieces you do have a few extras as well you have some extra sentiments which are the ones that deboss into the card for all of my cards I actually just used a silver gel pen to draw over them the silver gel pen I used was a bit too thick for the fine detail that debosses in um, however it kind of just looks like you hand wrote the sentiment and I quite like the look of it so I don't think that um, it looks too bad just tracing over it even though the pen is like thicker than the deboss detail but you have the words um, sent with love then you also have thinking of you and have a beautiful day which can go inside this um, little pennant banner die that you have or you can just um, deboss it into the card and then trim it out with scissors as well depending what look you're going for on your card and you can mix and match them together so you can have um, just to say thinking of you um, just to say have a beautiful day uh, you can do birthday wishes sent with love you could do um, thinking of you have a beautiful day as well you could even do thinking of you and then thinking of you inside the card as well um, so loads of ways of using those dies alone on a different card with or with just with this floral design or mixing them with the larger sentiments you can also snip these larger sentiments out they're really easy to snip out I did it for uh, just to say and birthday wishes I didn't try thinking of you but I think that is pretty easy to, to snip out as well you just have to um, add the other side of the O onto there that's probably the most complicated part of it or you could keep the flower as part of the sentiment as well and then it wouldn't be too tricky to cut out and then you also get two little flowers as well and I wasn't sure I was going to like these flowers but they are really lovely when you cut them out they look like this which um, I do tend to go for more uniform style flowers but they never look very realistic when I try to shape them but this one I really like how it looks when you actually shape it so if you get like one of these squidgy mats and then one of the ball tools you can go on the back of the petals and kind of press into the back of them to give them a little bit of shape and then you can flip it over and press down in the center and I really like how that comes out with those misshapen petals and all different sizes I think it looks really lovely that one and on one of the cards I did like uh, five of them two big ones and three small ones across the card um, and I just think they look really really lovely so um, I'm not gonna pass up using that kind of weird shaped flower in the future because I usually 
I kind of look at that and I go, that's not really the kind of flower that I would usually use, so I don't use it. But I do really like the look of that, and I didn't actually test it, but it might actually fit perfectly behind this one. I'm not sure. Maybe it doesn't completely line up. I was thinking because it's weird shaped petals that it might do. Oh no, it does. Yeah, it completely lines up behind there. So if you did want to add colour just behind that main flower, that large one absolutely fits perfectly behind there. Or, um, similarly, you could add it on top of it as well if you wanted to. So I hadn't thought to check that before, but you could actually add that flower perfectly um, aligned on top of that flower within the, the singular spray as well. So that's also nice to know too. So... Um, yeah, I think that's a, a really nice flower. I do really, really like that one. So I'll just put these dyes away and then I'll come back and show you the five samples that I've done as well. Okay, so the first three cards are in my sped up video, which is kind of like the three kind of... There's probably other ways as well, but three main ways of using these dyes to create shaker cards. And so these are the three different cards. I've, I've kept with the same kind of colour scheme for all of them. Um, let's zoom in a little bit. So this first one is a square card, which I don't often make that much anymore. Um, but this is using the entire design, and you use the outside shape to cut an aperture into the card, but then you use one of the detail dies with the flower next to it, again with that outside shape, and you cut it out of the card. And I also shadowed it with silver as well. Um, and then I recessed that back into the aperture which I had stuck acetate behind. So this is like the largest kind of shaker card that you could make with these, where you can even see the shaker elements behind the side um, portion of flowers. Um, you can see here, have a beautiful day. I don't think it looks too bad, um, you know, drawing over it with a gel pen. It just gives it like a whimsical kind of feel, doesn't it? Um, and then I just decided to add that on to this one so it says have a beautiful day and then birthday wishes as well showing how you can combine them and just a few strips of card to bring um, more colour into the card so it's not just so uh, white empty space doing this again I might have made this square smaller um, and possibly layered it onto a colour as well or put like a skinny little frame around the edge of it um, but it was basically to show the sort of principle of the shaker card with the main big aperture in it then um, I thought I'd also show cutting just the detail die into the card to make the aperture of the shaker card and then adding this three dimensional piece over the top and for this one I actually um, coloured through the die cut onto the white card front as well so I cut one out of dark blue stuck it down used an alcohol pen to colour in the detail and um, that's actually the same kind of colour as the card that I've used behind um, and then coloured the detail of all of the flowers then I stuck another one over the top to neaten anywhere that I might have gone over the edges and then I used the silver gel pen to add the details into the centres of the flowers and colour in the leaves over here um, but that's just sort of showing a different way of doing the shaker. So the whole card isn't the shaker, just the sentiment kind of portion is the shaker element of the card. And again, I've added the sentiment where I have just um, written over the debossing with the silver gel pen. So I quite like that one. I think that's my favourite of the shaker cards. I, I do really like how that one turned out. And the fact that you can change up like this side piece so the main portion's cut in white but the side piece is in the dark blue you don't have to have it all in the same color like on this one but if i didn't like it all in the same color on this one i could cut this individual piece out and stick it over the top of this one as well still have the uh, shaker showing through but have a different color going over the top of that side portion of flowers but it does give a completely different look having it all in one color and having it in the two separate parts as well so that just shows a difference there and then the final one of the shaker cards um, I wanted to show how you could cut it into a different shape so this was just trimmed with a guillotine but imagine this outside shape could be um, a circle a hexagon an octagon um, a diamond all sorts of different shapes that this could be and you could either do it this way where just the words is the shaker like this card and this is added over the top or you could do it this way and have you know this kind of aperture but around this larger piece as well so you could easily have a lovely octagon going around that and raise it up like 
with this and then also something different for this shaker card it's a double shaker card so the die cut that is um just floral i cut i cut that one with the um flower piece in it although that bit is hidden because it's layered on top um and then i added acetate behind the thinking of you aperture then I added 3D foam, then I put the turquoise one that is just the floral detail, um, I stuck that on, then I added more foam tape, and then I put the sh um, shaker filling in there and added the cardstock on the back of it. So you will see that in the sped up video, but it's just another way of doing a shaker card. It's twice as thick um, because you've got the two layers of the foam tape, but it gives something extra inside the shaker card and it also makes the sequins or whatever you put inside there move differently because it can kind of go between the little die cut elements of the piece that's within there as well. So just another different way of creating a shaker card. So that's like three shaker card versions that you could do with this. But I also wanted to show another of my favourite kind of ways of using gorgeous intricate dies is to fill them with Nouveau drops. So I added some glittery ones to like the sunbeams coming down the top. I've got stone drops in there, normal gloss drops in that gorgeous calming aqua colour. And these dark blue ones here are the blueberry smoothie. Is it called smoothie? Yes, blueberry smoothie aroma drops. So this card smells like blueberries, um, which makes a nice little difference as well. And it's a cool way of adding in scented drops to your card. Um, just, you know, putting them in a few different places to give the whole card that blueberry scent. So I quite like the idea of that one. And then I snipped out the birthday wishes from one of the um, intricate panels and um, added that as my sentiment as well. So again, another different look if I show them all next to each other you see again having this in one panel looks completely different to having it um individual and even having like the dark color you know behind that detail is really different to just coloring in the elements on here as well so there really are quite a few different ways that you can get different looks with these dies in this set and then this one is also another one of my favorites I, I definitely think these two are my two favorites from uh, the ones that I've created but this was using that um like sort of swag die of the flower that goes up the side just by itself so you don't have to combine it with the other dies you can just use that one by by itself and it makes a really lovely foam embossing folder background with white on white and then I just cut out the just for say from what ju just to say um from one of the um, intricate dies and then I've done How A Beautiful Day again, again drawing over it with a silver gel pen to, to make it more legible and then I've used those beautiful um, tatty looking kind of flowers and then I used stone drops in the centre and I also put some of the tonic prills on there, I'm not sure if you can get them anymore, they might still have them on the US website, I think they've gone off the UK website which is really annoying because I really like using them um, but if you haven't seen them, or maybe you've got them and haven't used them yet, they're called Mini Prills, and this one is called um, Baby It's Cold Outside. But they're just basically kind of like micro beads, but they're all different sizes in there and different colours, and they work really nicely to help stuff move inside the shakers. So I had actually used it in all of the shaker cards as well, along with the Bluebell Hearts um, Pure Sheen Confetti, which came out in the Blue Blossom colour trend. So those two together is what I've used inside my shaker cards. And if you want the names of the drops that I used on this one, the um, glitter drops is the um, Aquatic Mist, a really beautiful turquoisey glittery one. Then I used the Blueberry Smoothie, the Belgium Bluestone. I used the Silver is the Liquid Mercury, and then that light... Um, blue colour is the Calming Aqua, so lots of lovely um, aquary, bluey, silvery kind of tones for all of the drops on there, but obviously I've stuck to um, a blue kind of theme because I did my sped up video and I'd made these ones and I quite liked the, the blue theme with them so I carried on with that, but um, I think these look equally lovely in purples and pinks and maybe even like uh, reds, orange, yellows kind of colours as well, so I think all the way across the rainbow these will look lovely, whatever colour you decide um, to use with them. So. 
I hope you enjoyed this up close video looking at designer's choice number 23 which is the floral sentiment frames um, and I hope you got a little bit of inspiration of like different ways that you could use them and obviously any of these different cards you could do the different idea with them so you could switch out this sentiment on this card to be thinking of you or the birthday wishes you can mix and match um, the idea of you know how to create the shaker with any of the different sentiment ones you could even um, flood one of the sentiment ones with the drops as well not just the uh, floral design one you could also do it with one of the sentiment ones as well um, so if you're interested in getting this month's designer's choice die set I will leave links for it in the description below my video and also on my blog post as well and there will be affiliate links too so if you do um, click them and purchase this or anything else um, I'll get a small commission at no extra cost to you and I really do appreciate you using them because it really does make a big difference. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this up close video, I hope it gave you some ideas of how you might want to use this die set if you get hold of it or um, you know maybe it gave you some ideas of how to make some different shaker cards with other dies that you might already have and you've not really thought to turn them into shaker cards or want a different way of using them as a shaker and um, hopefully it gave you a few ideas for that as well so thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next video bye